10 Famous Celebrities That Serve Time In Prison Today we will share with you 10 famous celebrities that serve time in prison. Most people admire celebrity lifestyles and sometimes even wish they could live like their favourite celebrity. I remember my 10 year old self daydreaming about being Michael Jackson. This glamorous lifestyle is fueled by money and sometimes these people begin to feel they are above the rule of law. However, sometimes money, fame and good lawyers are not enough to get these celebrities off the hook for the crimes they have committed. Let's take a look at some stars that had to leave their luxurious waterbeds to sleep on the tiny double bunks in the slammer. Here are 10 famous celebrities that served time in prison. OJ Simpson To date, the OJ Simpson case has been a reference for many TV series and comedy shows. OJ Simpson was a famous gridiron football player and actor who was charged and acquitted with the murder of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. The backbone of most public opinions during the time of his trial was based on racial lines. Most African American individuals supported OJ Simpson and claimed that he was innocent. On the other hand, most white Americans believed he was guilty and were rooting for him to be convicted of those crimes. It all began when both his ex-wife and her friend were found dead in their house in California. They had been stabbed and the police quickly made OJ Simpson their primary suspect. In light of these occurrences, OJ Simpson hid in a utility van driven by his friend and attempted to escape. The chase was broadcasted online and more than 95 million people watched the car chase with his fans lined up on the street in support of him. After a very long trial period, OJ Simpson was found not guilty of murder. However, during a civil trial, he was convicted of being responsible for the deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. Martha Stewart Martha Stewart, a billionaire mogul, ended up in jail after she was convicted of conspiracy, obstruction of justice and making false statements. She had been a famous face on the TV screen and it came as a shock to many of her fans that she was going to serve time in prison. Stewart had built an entire empire from the ground up that was largely influenced by her Polish-American background. In her youth, the household traditional arts of cooking, sewing, canning and gardening had become a norm and with that background, she began planning events in the neighbourhood. However, briefly after she became a billionaire, she made a series of bad decisions that did not turn out well. In 2001, Stewart ordered the sale of 4,000 shares of I'm Clone, a company that develops cancer therapy drugs. The next day, the company took a massive hit after news came out that the drug was not approved by the FDA. After a comprehensive investigation, it was discovered that she was a party to insider trading. She was sentenced to five months in prison and five months of house confinement. It is reassuring to know that the justice system doesn't just let the rich go unpunished. Bill Cosby Award-winning stand-up comedian, actor and author Bill Cosby was a popular figure in the entertainment industry and the black community. However, he has recently been convicted as a sex offender and has been registered as a violent sexual predator. He began his career in San Francisco as a stand-up comedian. He got a glimpse of stardom when he landed a starring role in the television show I Spy, followed by his famous sitcom The Bill Cosby Show. From then on, his career kept soaring as he won several awards and received several accolades from top individuals in the industry. Despite his numerous accomplishments, it was all stained when allegations of rape, drug facilitated sexual assault, sexual battery, child sexual abuse and sexual misconduct began to come out. Despite all the claims, Bill Cosby continually denied the allegations and maintained his innocence. On September 25, 2016, he was charged with sexual assault and sentenced to 3 to 10 years in prison. At the time of his sentencing, more than 60 women had similar accusations over the past five decades. Suge Knight Suge Knight was the founder of Death Row Records alongside rapper-producer Dr. Dre. His road to fame and riches started in Compton, California, 
where he was a popular football player. He earned a scholarship to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Suge then went on to play for the LA Rams as a lineman and eventually found himself working as a bodyguard to prominent acts in the music industry, such as Bobby Brown. It was during this phase of his life that he took an interest in the music industry and set out to own a record label. Reports from close associates claim that Suge used force and gang muscle to ensure business deals go in his favour. A viral interview with rapper Vanilla Ice shows how he was bullied into signing over royalties to Knight during a balcony meeting. Suge Knight has repeatedly received jail sentences for possession of weed and theft. Recently, he was charged for his involvement in a hit and run in Compton, where he was sentenced to 28 years in prison. Tim Allen Timothy Allen Dick, popularly known as Tim Allen, is a comedian and an actor. He was featured in The Tool Man as Tim, Home Improvement, Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story series, and Santa Claus in the Santa Claus movies. But his life was not always as glamorous and flashy as we see on TV. At the age of 25, Tim was about to board a flight at Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport. He and his partner were caught trying to smuggle 650 grams of cocaine. Interestingly, both of them were caught by an undercover cop. He could have possibly taught Tim all the fantastic acting skills he is currently using to make waves. He pleaded guilty to the drug trafficking charges and was faced with a life sentence in prison. His sentence was later reduced to three to seven years after he disclosed the names of other dealers. After this rough patch in his life, he decided to be committed to setting and achieving goals and his dedication took him to stardom. Phil Spector Phil Spector is a famous American producer and songwriter. Harvey Philip Spector made a name for himself in the early 50s when he and his band had a number one hit in the United States and the United Kingdom. The title of the song was To Know Him Is To Love Him and it was taken from the inscription from Spector's father's grave. He died when Spector was about nine years old which made his family move to LA. After the Teddy Bear Spectre music group released their hit song, a career decline began for the band, which eventually led to the band splitting up in 1959. He eventually went on to New York to become an industry sensation, where he started to work on his wall of sound technique. However, a few years after his rise to fame, Spectre was found guilty of second degree murder and was sentenced to 19 years in North Kern, a prison in California. 6-9 Daniel Hernandez, a contemporary sensation, has been noticed for his hyper-aggressive, full-throated approach to delivering his oft-violent rhymes. Hernandez first decided to begin his rap career after he encountered Peter Righteous P. Rogers while he was working at Bushwick in Brooklyn. His career snowballed over the years as he was consistently featured on the Billboard Hot 100 he also drew attention to himself with his rainbow colored hair, extensive tattoos, and rainbow plaited grills. In 2018, Hernandez was involved in a shooting with the entourage of Casanova, a popular New York rapper. Later the next year, Hernandez was charged with racketeering and other offenses which he pleads guilty. He initially maintained his innocence and denied all charges brought against him. After further investigation, 6 9 entered a plea bargain and got his sentence reduced from 47 years to life in prison to 13 months after providing evidence against other gang members. We can all see he valued his career more than the gang code. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. was popularly known for his role as Tony Stark in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In his heydays, he featured in the first Iron Man and the film made a whopping 102 million in its opening weekend. He became a true role model and inspiration after overcoming his addiction to drugs and other substances. That was a clear indicator that his life before all these occurrences was not exactly a pretty picture. In 1999, Robert Downey Jr. was sentenced to three years in prison for violating probation. But why was he on probation in the first place? In 1996, police confiscated heroin, cocaine, and a pistol from the car of Robert Downey Jr. 
He was eventually released on bail after he served a year. However, the incident will remain on his permanent record. Lauren Hill Lauren Hill is a famous singer, songwriter and rapper who made her mark in the music industry as being a pioneer in the neo-soul genre. She influenced some artists of contemporary time and has been constantly credited for breaking barriers for other fellow female artists from various genres. However, in 2012, Grammy winner singer Lauren Hill was serving her time in the slammer for failing to pay over $1 million in taxes in about 10 years. The case was straightforward because Lauren pleaded guilty. Her lawyer requested that Lauren should be treated with leniency, arguing that the singer's charity work, family circumstances, and the fact that she paid back all the taxes she owed ought to be considered. Evasion of tax is a common crime amongst celebrities and large corporations. Several cases have been reported. Sometimes they can get off on the hook. Other times, they pay for the crimes, like Lauren Hill. Jared Fogel Jared Scott Fogel was the famous face of the Subway restaurant. He became the face of a long-term TV advertising campaign that ran from 2000 to 2015 after losing 2,000 pounds from eating the Subway burger. But in 2007, Fogel was suspected by the FBI for having sex with minors. It was revealed with the help of a TV reporter that had been secretly recording Fogel over the years. During his case, it was discovered that Fogel travels interstate to pay minors for sex. He had a stash of over 400 child pornography videos, which was given to him by the head of his charity. Fogel was sentenced to over 15 and a half years in prison. It is popularly known that inmates aren't particularly welcome to child predators, and this was obvious when Jared Fogel was attacked by a fellow inmate. That's it, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.